This is part 4 of Razor Pages tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss creating a reusable class library project. We're going to name this project models because it's going to contain all the models like employee, department, etc. that our Razor Pages web application project needs. It's a reusable project, meaning it could be used in a Razor Pages web application, web API, Windows application, etc. It works cross-platform. At the moment, within our solution, we've got just one project and this is the Razor Pages web application project. To this solution, we want to add one more project. So right click on the solution, add new project. As you can see on this add a new project dialog, we have several project templates and the type of project that we want to add is a class library project. So in the search text box, type class library. We now see just the class library project templates, but again, there are several of them. The first one here is the .NET standard class library. And the second one is also the same. The only difference between these two is the programming language. First one uses C sharp and the second one uses Visual Basic. And then we have the Razor UI class library and then the full .NET framework class library that we all .NET developers are used to. And then we have the .NET core class library. So the obvious question that comes to our mind at this point is, what is the difference between all these different class library projects? We'll discuss the differences and when to use one over the other in detail in our upcoming videos. For now, we want to use this .NET standard class library. So select that and then click next. On this screen, we specify a name. This project is going to contain all the models that our Razor Pages web application need. So I'm going to name this Razor Pages tutorial dot models and then click create. We're going to use this application to perform CRUD, that is create, read, update and delete operations against employees. So we need an employee class and DEPT enum and we want the DEPT enum to have these four options, none, HR, IT and payroll. So let's rename this default class1.cs file to DEPT. Visual Studio is now prompting us if we want the class name also to be renamed from class1 to DEPT. Yes, we want to rename it. And we don't want this to be a class, we want it to be an enum. And in this enum, we want the four options that we have seen on the slide. Next, we want to create employee class. So right click on the models project and add a new class. Let's name it employee. In this class, we want to include these five public properties, ID, name, email, photo path, and department. Notice the data type of department property. It is the DEPT enum that we have just created. So in the employee class, let's include those five properties we have seen on the slide and we want this class to be public. So let's also include public access modifier. Next, we need to create services that retrieve data from an underlying data source, such as a SQL Server database. We want to create these services also in a separate reusable .NET standard class library project. We'll discuss how to do that in our next video. That's it in this video. Thank you for listening.